can't see There ain't no way through Tell the kid who's slinging a stone at a giant Boy, you're gonna lose But you'd be talking to people with hearts of fear So, Bill, <laughs> even though there's a sign behind you, I'm going to ask, where are we? Um, we're at the Sun Studio today. Today, we're uh, here to sing gospel music on the 60th anniversary of Elvis Presley's That's All Right, Mama, first release. So, they chose us to be the gospel portion of it, and we're very excited. What are you singing? We are singing... Elvis's version of Peace in the Valley. Yep. And um, we're gonna give him some peace. But we're not in a valley. But we're, this isn't, uh, you know, actually a I mean, it might be it below be, sea level. See, yeah, it's possible. But, but no, I don't know if Memphis would be considered below sea level, so. Eh. It could be a flood zone. We don't know. Possibly in the city it could be a flood zone, so that's a valley in the flood zone, yeah. Yeah. But we're excited to be here. There will it's be peace be in the flood zone. And we'd have to change the lyric there. <laughs> but I don't know. We, yeah. we'll, we'll just keep it the way it is. It's an honor to be here. Truly it is. Mm -hmm. Now for the person that's probably should be the most excited to be here. I'm very excited. What you got to say? I got chills, man. This is where it all went down. This is where it all began, literally. A lot of people recorded. Yeah. Elvis, uh, Johnny Cash. I don't want to. Roy Orbison. Uh, yes. Jerry Lee Lewis. George Harrison. Exactly. You too. You too. So if we do see to Brian out. Setzer. Okay. Alan Wolf. Big bluesy guy. Yeah. A lot of people. Yeah. Boxcar Willie's here. What was that? Boxcar Willie, he's here. Really? He's singing. That's all right, huh? That's all right. That's all right, mama. Really? That's all right, mama. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right, mama. What do you think? <laughs> oh, look what you did. <laughs> He's got the whole thing. Uh, really? Yeah. You got something? Not really. I know you do. Not really. I woke up about 30 minutes ago. Yeah. But Ate you some eggs. Sun Studios, I'm excited. Yeah. We're meeting some really cool people from the UK. There's a lot. That's neat. Yeah, it is. Cool folks. Mm -hmm. I bet it's really cool. cool. And then there's going to be Allison Wonderland Jr., just in case you're wondering. Going to the Rolly Derby. And the Roller Derby. The Rolly Derby. The so. Rolly Derby. Yeah. Yep, that's all I got. Okay. Well, look, that's fantastic. St staying with the, the gospel theme, now, we're, we're joined by a group that have 
23 albums to their name and have been nominated for Southern Gospel Album of the Year five times in the last seven years. Uh, they're led by one of the most recognisable gospel tenors of his generation. Uh, they're performing in Ohio last night, but tonight they're back where they belong, the heart of the American South. They are tenor, Brian. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Uh, lead, Bill. That's me. Right here. Bill, baritone, Mike. Mike, yes. I love that. And, uh, and bass, Jeremy. Yes, yes. right. Hey, boys. Well, collectively known as Brian Free and the Assurance. Yes. How are you guys doing? Doing great. great. How are you? Awesome. I'm, I'm, having a, I'm having a blast. Everybody Good. keeps asking me, and I'm just, I'm just buzzing over here. It's an honor <laughs> to be here. Well, look, um, tell, tell us about um, the gospel influence in Elvis's music. I think it's pretty evident in all the music that he did. Uh, he grew up in the church like you know, a lot of people. And the, the music of the church is where all genres come from. That's the origin of any, of any type of music. And everybody takes it and more creative and do what they want to with it, make it their own. And that's where the other styles of music come from. So I believe it was the core, uh, yeah. as it is most people. Well, you know, he, he grew up as a good church boy, and then everybody starts dubbing his music as, as the devil's music. And, I mean, how, how difficult do you think that was for him to, 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 to brush that off or to, to deal with that? I, I knew J.D. Sumner very well, and mm -hmm. J.D. Traveled, of course, was the bass singer, was Elvis's favorite bass singer, and I've known J.D. for about 35 years. And J.D. would talk about that every once in a while. It's, I, I, I believe in, in his heart, he always had a love for gospel music. I mean, he won his Grammys on his gospel music. Yeah. Um, he used that in the harmonies and his influence, and even his, his, in some of the writing and stuff that he did. Uh, Elvis, he just he had his own style. He had his own desire of doing his thing, which obviously was fantastic. And I, yeah, I believe God gave him that ability, and mm -hmm. what he did with it was between him and the Lord. I believe it was a, uh, I believe it was, obviously it's a phenomenal career. Well. Uh, fantastic. You think um, uh, is rock and roll completely accepted today? Do you think, or, or, or do you think there's, there's still that that sense that it's that it's you know the devil's music? It's ungodly. It, it shouldn't be played. I, I think in in certain circles it will never be accepted. Yeah. Uh, it, because it's viewed as the world's music. I, me personally, I've been influenced by a number of of artists mm -hmm. in, in in music, and not just in Christian music. So as far as that's concerned, uh, I believe lyrically is the most important part. The music itself is not evil. Uh, mm. There's nothing in the Bible that says that it's evil. Yeah. Uh, it's the lyrics. It's what we choose to say when we sing a song uh, that, that makes it either or good or bad or something you want to listen to or something you want your family to listen to. So uh, I think that's, uh, it's all about the writing of the song. Is it something you listen to uh, growing up, rock and roll? Absolutely. Yeah? I was an old rocker before, <laughs> yeah, before I got saved. I was an old rocker in a rock group. Uh, I mean, really? We, yeah, that's what we did. Brian Free and the Rockers, yeah. right? And then that's, yeah, that's just part of it. Fantastic. So back to, back to gospel. How, how important is gospel, gospel music across America? Hugely important, I believe. Uh, we are largely a Christian nation, have been since its, its beginning. Yeah. And, uh, it's, and we travel about 200 days a year all over the U.S. and uh, in, in Canada and overseas. So we see the influence and, and the importance of gospel music uh, everywhere of all different styles. And it, I think it always will be. Hopefully it always will be. Fantastic. Well, tell us, tell us a little bit about your song choice. Uh, Peace in the Valley, which was uh, one of my favorite songs yeah. that Elvis did. And uh, the guys also back here. And it just, it's, it's a great song with a great message. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, when I hear Elvis sing that song, you can tell his heart's in it, and you can tell that he's really feeling what he's singing. Yeah. I mean, I, I do believe with all my heart. I saw him many times in watching Elvis on TV and things. That he just, uh, he, he, I believe he, he definitely knew who the Lord was. Yeah. Well, this is fantastic, right? This is That's All Right, 60 Years On, live from Sun Studio in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, singing Peace in the Valley, Brian Free and the Assurance. Note, please. <laughs> Well, I'm tired and so weary, but I must go along till the Lord comes and calls, calls me away. Oh, yes, where the morn is so bright. And the lamb is the light And the night, night is as black As the sea, oh yes There will be peace in the valley for me No 
Peace in the studio right now. That was incredible. Thank you. Brian Free and the Assurance. Peace in the Valley live from Sun Studio here in Memphis, Tennessee. 60 years to the day after Elvis Presley, so influenced by gospel music, walked through these doors and recorded That's All Right. Brian, Bill, Mike, Jeremy, thank you, boys. Thanks so much. Elvis Presley. Okay, cool. What do you think? Change from this creature. And I am. 